Welcome to the KTA Coding Inspection Instrument Training Series. This is one of many modules that are available to you. You can find all the modules at kta.com or paintsquare.com. This module describes the use of SSPC Viz 1, which is a pictorial standard showing you the appearance of different grades of cleaning over steel. SSPC Viz 1 has a whole series of photographs. I'm going to go through it in steps. First, for bare, previously unpainted steel, it shows you four initial rust grades. A, which is total mill scale, B, rusty mill scale, C, rusted steel, D, rusted and pitted. In order to use the standard, you must first determine what level of initial condition you have before blast cleaning begins. In this case, we can see it's not total mill scale, it's not pitted, so my condition most closely resembles rust grade C. I then turn to the rust grade C section of the book to determine what my different degrees of cleaning should look like over this initial condition. SP5 is white metal, SP10 is near white, SP6 commercial, SP7 brush off. All right, when you're doing these evaluations, you should be wearing gloves. You don't want to contaminate the steel with, uh, you know, perspiration or salts. But now I'm looking at a surface that was abrasive blast clean. My example spec was a minimum of SP6 commercial. You can see by making the comparison that the steel is cleaner than the photograph, not as clean as SP5, uh, white metal, but it's closest to SP10 near white. So in this case, they m exceeded the specification requirement of, of commercial blast and really are approaching or close to a near white blast. That's the way it's used as a visual comparison. Now the steel will never look exactly the same as the photos. The photos were taken actually using silica sand under different lighting conditions, different steel conditions than what you will have in the field. But it's a good relative uh, difference to help you assess the degree of cleaning. Now I'm going to show you other sections that are in the book. We've already shown you the blasting of uh, unpainted steel. This happened to be rust grade C we went through. A similar series for rust grade D, the badly pitted steel. But there's also a series that shows the difference in appearance of white metal blast depending on the abrasive that is used. So you can see that the color changes. And this isn't a color standard, it's a cleanliness standard. But it will have an effect on the appearance uh, based on the abrasive that is used. Another section of the book shows you the appearance of different grades of cleaning over previously painted and rusted steel. There are three initial conditions of it. So for example, a badly rusted steel, this would a white metal blast, near white over that condition, commercial blast, a newer blast called industrial blast that allows some paint to remain, and brush off blast. A final section of the book will show you the difference in appearance based on the profile depth. A one mil profile can appear differently than a four mil profile. The viewing angle or lighting angle can appear differently. These are all the same uh, surface that's been blast cleaned. The only difference is the viewing and lighting angle. In this case, it's similar to a cloudy day. So the standard gives you a lot of uh, opportunity to evaluate the surface cleanliness. And it's important to recognize it's only gets you, it's a guide, it gets you in the ballpark. You really must comply with the written word of the specification for determining ultimate compliance. And that's all there is to it. And again, other modules are available for your viewing at kta.com or paintsquare.com.